much to all of you for coming here today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are absolutely delighted to, to bring you together. It's a great occasion. Uh, it's the first time that we've brought together all the colleges under the banner of the Skills for Employability programme. I want to especially acknowledge the international delegates that we have here from England, from Wales, from Northern Ireland and China. I'd also like to thank our partners in this uh, endeavour from the NBI National Business Initiative, Meccano and her team. Uh, it's important for us in the British Council that we can convene you. We're delighted that you've been able to come together. Uh, we know that you will work hard as the two days progress. And I hope that when you leave, you feel satisfied that the work that you've done together has helped change and shape things. The reason why we are actually having this conference is to contribute to skills development in South Africa. And one of the things that we sought to do four years ago, after the South African and UK government agreed that we needed to play a role in skills development, was to actually first find out what was the context, find out what were the needs for South Africa. And I think at this particular point in time, I'm quite confident to say we've actually found that. the involvement of the Department of Higher Education and Training in this uh, uh, project is very important because we have to work within the overall strategic framework uh, as our client by the department. So going forward the NBI would like to work with colleges to help get more employers on board. Partnerships take time but you need to change mindset. You need to look at how you're sustaining what you've started. You need to find funding for sustainability and the college needs to fund some of it. You need to transform your organizational culture so that it's integrated into everything you do. You need to build it into your strategic planning. And one of the things that was only vaguely mentioned is how we put electronic learning platforms in place for some of 